Hi everyone, this is Paul Hodgson from Box of Frogs here in Huddersfield. Just want to today show you how I can recover uh, an image, as you can see on the screen, that's significantly underexposed. I shoot RAW, I'm a Nikon user, and for me I use the three uh, Nikon pieces of software. One, I use Transfer to bring the files in and onto my hard drive. Secondly, I use ViewNX. Uh, as a way of categorizing the keepers, the processing, the ones I'm not really too sure about, and the definite deletes. And then I use the final capture and X2 to do any adjustments beyond what ViewNX can do. In ViewNX, actually, there's a lot you can do in this particular uh, piece of software without actually needing to go any further. That's not what this video is about. This video is about looking at this particular image. I didn't give the flash, I was using a flash. Uh, into an umbrella, enough time to recharge pa their ba the batteries or the thyristor or whatever it is that uh, takes the charge from the batteries, give it enough time to give it enough power uh, at the settings to be able to illuminate uh, our puppy. Incidentally, this puppy, Balthazar, we rescued him at Christmas. So what I'm going to do is, um, so I'm using ViewNX2, free piece of software, it can also work with any JPEG, but I shoot raw files. I've set them, uh, I open up ViewNX, I tell ViewNX to give me uh, the view of the raw file rather than the, a rendered JPEG of that raw file. And that's why this is here in yellow. And over to the right hand side of the screen are the uh, adjustments that you can make to this file. Uh, I'm coming over here and illustrating that actually I've got the file set to zero. Everything is flat as it came out of the camera. Uh, to bring the exposure upon this particular uh, image, yes, I can use exposure compensation and add some. Uh, I can add some contrast, not that I need to at the moment because the file's in no condition to be able to do that. Add some brightness. Mm, if I add brightness, it's going to alter the colors at the moment. So what I actually am going to do, and this is something that I don't use in my camera, is delighting. Just watch this. I'm going to use. I'm going to click the slider once, and then I'm going to click it over to the right-hand side uh, until this number goes from zero to two. But watch the file. Astonishing, absolutely astonishing. I can, if I wanted to, increase the uh, de the detail. I should say within the shadow area by. Uh, dragging to the right the shadow protection again watch the file I am going to drag it I've got no number in mind but I'm just bringing it out it's having a quick look yeah okay so if you can remember what the first file looked like very dark this is now moved up to 25 uh, delighting actually which made the biggest impact on this image went to 2 and I haven't touched anything else could quite happily just simply leave it at that what I am interested in, if I go up to here, is to move it to a 100% view. Pixelated to start with, but it's going to catch up in a second. And I'm interested in removing this uh, this blooming. So there's an option here toward the bottom end of uh, the adjustments panel on the right hand side of View and X 2, called uh, Axial Color Aberration. If I click Auto it defaults to the uh, to a number of 50. I never find that that is enough. I'm going to move it to 75 but first I'm going to stop the video. In fact you can see you know it, uh, it's applied that 50 rating but it's not quite enough there's still some there. I tend to find 75 or even right up at 100 is enough to get rid of any of that, uh, th that uh, aberration hasn't finished just yet. And there we go, it's finished. So most of that colour, if not all of that colour, has now gone. It's a fabulous tool. So go back to 100% view and that's what the file looks like. I'd be quite happy to do that. You might want, to, you know, those of you who want to just sort of do some dodging and burning can. This is never going to make anything other than maybe a print for home. 
uh, transfer to the family, maybe a bit of a Facebook. So I'm not really that interested in doing an awful lot to that. And it's never going to be a, it's not an image that's certainly a showstopper. What I do hope is that the uh, very brief, I know it's close to five and a half minutes long, but the brief explanation of how I use ViewNX and certainly the delete delighting function and how magnificent it is can work on your file. So don't throw a file away if it's significantly underexposed. Equally, even if it's overexposed, try the same thing. Thanks for listening. This is Paul Hodgson. See you soon.